Okay, I'm back at the poem writing session. But before I start, there are still things that lingers in my head. Things that I'm still uncertain. Especially when it comes to who's behind all this. I mean, I am aware that Monica can manipulate the game in certain ways, but I don't think she's evil. I don't sense any negativity in her. And I don't think she's the one who's causing Yuri to become unstable like that. Yeah, Yuri. Yuri's condition is getting worse. It's like she's a totally different person. The real Yuri is not like that at all. And that's a fact. I know who the real Yuri is. So many questions. And I don't have any answers. Alright, poem writing time. I'm still gonna go 10 for Yuri and 10 for Natsuki. Let's go. Intellectual. And then... Eternity? What the hell? What was that? I saw something. Something jumped below the screen. Wait. The counter. The top right counter. That's weird. It's 1-1. One, one. It doesn't go up to 2 or 3. Something's not right. Gotta keep on going. Yeah. I won't be phased. Yeah, it's five, but it's in one ones. Entropy. What the hell is that? That is not a letter. Um, what happens if I pick that? What the hell? The screen change. The woods are still there, but the screen change. Gotta keep on going. I'm not scared. I won't be phased, and I won't back down. Okay. And then... Okay. Next is... Uh... What the hell? A scream. <laughs> Trying to jump me. Not gonna work. I know what's coming. So I think I should go with Natsuki's word now. Yeah, puppy, um, nah, anime, and then kawaii, uh, kitty, how many woods for Natsuki now? Um, three, four? That makes five, I think? Family? I don't know, I'm losing track. Um, alright, I'm just gonna choose whatever. Uh, passion, and then, um, unrequited, yeah. Okay, I'm done. You're right. Hi, so sweet. It's Yuri, and she has that expression. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? Mm hmm I bought my best tea today. Monica? I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Yuri is being too aggressive towards Natsuki. This is not like her at all. Okay, Sosui. You know what's coming. You're not gonna back down. Never. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing. Huh? 
even Natsuki knows there is something wrong with Yuri. So I'm not the only one. Is it really that bad? See? It is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. Yuri, your expression shows it is something noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Uh, anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. It's Monica. Well, so we just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for a piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and. Um. Huh. Right. I, I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and... Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However... I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So, as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Hmm? Um, also... If you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Huh? <laughs> you just buy Natsuki a new manga? This is something new. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look. I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. Well, Natsuki, this is unexpected coming from you. <laughs> Finally, something positive for a change. Thank you, Natsuki. I'm a pro, you know? So... I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, 
Monica's expression is like she's not entirely happy. Maybe she still feels uncomfortable after what happened yesterday. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, so sweet. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Huh? Plans? Oh yeah, the, the reading thing. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Sosie is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Yuri is giving Monica a very cold stare. And my feral instinct is acting out like crazy. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? <laughs> I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. What was that? Yuri just... just burst out, didn't she? Actually, I have a request. Okay, now I'm alone with Yuri. Alright, anything can happen. I'll have to be very careful. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all, Yuri. Thanks very much. If there is one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. Wait, is it just me or I've already done this scene with Yuri? Why am I doing it again? Why am I seeing this again? Huh. Strange. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Yup, it's definitely the same scene. Yuri hurries off and disappears for a bit. And then, that thing happened. Am I gonna see that again? Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? 
No, it's not like that this time. She is just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Mm hmm. Hmm. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Okay, it's happening. Let's get this over with. Let's see... The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Okay, so sweet. You know what's gonna happen. You're not afraid. A sharp inhale. Like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah! Oh my god, Yuri! I'm seeing it again. Yuri is bleeding. Wait, wait, Yuri! It's happening again, it's happening again! Huh? Pitch. Black? <gasps> Yuri! Um... What the hell was that? What the hell did I just saw? Wait... How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before, or anything? Right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. Yuri, what's going on? What is happening to you? Yuri. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean... Everyone has a few unusual things about them. What the... The screen, it's... Dark. Um, Yuri? But... Expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as... Inappropriate or unlikable? At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. Yuri, I want to be around you. You're fine the way you are. You have flaws, we all do. But I still think you're a really cool person. So, I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, 
I eventually stop trying to talk to people. Stop talking to people. Yuri, I understand that feeling. I really do. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. I understand that too, Yuri. When people around you just don't get you, it's normal to close yourself off. But I'm here with you, Yuri. Whenever you need me, I will always be there for you, all the way to the end. I promise. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Your heart goes crazy? Okay, Yuri, tell me about it. I'm listening. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. You don't know, Yuri? Like you have no control over those actions? So sweet. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? Monica acting a little off? She does in a way. Why, Yuri? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. Something. Sharp? I'm not crazy, right? Yuri, your expression change and the music stop. Yuri, are you okay? Please tell me I'm not. No, Yuri, you're not crazy. I sense it too, you know. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. <laughs> Can we just stay here for a while? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yuri, she's starting to act. Oh my God! What's what's going on? I just want to stay here. I'm sensing something bad is about to happen. Is it just me or... I see something like an eye. Just the two of us? We can stay here until the club ends. And then... We'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Stabbing yourself? Yuri, calm down. Let's not do that, okay? <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. Yuri, please don't joke about this. I do like knives, though. The shadow, it's getting more clearer. It looks like Monica. It sounds strange. But you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. 
Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. That's Monica. That is definitely Monica I'm seeing. And she's inside Yuri. Is she controlling Yuri? What's going on? Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club. So sweet. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There is no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Monica? What are you doing to Yuri? Why are you inside her head? Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? So sweet. <laughs> It's everything we could ever wanted. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? <laughs> it's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now, we get the happy ending I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, so sweet? Monica is looking straight at me. Why are you doing this to Yuri, Monica? Well, <laughs> I'm back. Monica, it's Monica, she's the one behind all this, she's the one that caused Sayuri to, to end herself, and she's the one who caused Yuri to become like that, no, 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 why Monica, why are you doing this, it can't be Monica, it can't be Monica, god damn it, Open your eyes, so sweet. You wanted the truth, and that's the truth. There is no denying it. It was Monica who's pulling the strings. Monica. Monica got tons and tons of explaining to do. Monica! Don't say I didn't warn you, so sweet. Monica, what did you do? What? She... she shoved me off? She shoved me off just like that? Blast! Damn it. I lost my cool. I need to calm down. Okay. I need to see Natsuki first. I need to make sure she's okay. Huh. This one's alright. All right. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. 
I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So, you better keep working hard. Yes, ma'am. I'm working hard as we speak. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I mean... I know I'm not president or vice president or anything. But that doesn't mean you can let me down. Okay? Okay, Natsuki. I will never let you down. Like that song from Rick Ashley. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. So, at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Okay, Natsuki. <laughs> I'll gladly read your poem. Come on, let's see. Huh? This is not a poem, it's a note. Okay, Natsuki. What are you trying to tell me? Let's find out. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please, try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know, I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Natsuki wants me to help Yuri. Okay, I'll talk to her. I'll stay by her side. I'll give her as much time as she needs. Yeah, don't worry Natsuki. I'll get us out of your life. I promise. And for Monica, I gotta be super careful with her. She's listening. She's everywhere. Okay, I gotta act normal. Act like this is a normal poem from Natsuki. Huh. Natsuki! I changed my mind. Damn it, Monica. Monica's onto me. She's onto me now. Ignore everything you just read. There is no point in trying to do anything. It is Yuri's own fault that she is so unlikable. No, that is not true. That's not Yuri. I know that. You know that. This is all you're doing, isn't it, Monica? Can you hear me, Soisui? If you would just spend more time with Manike, all these problems would go away. So you want me to spend more time with you? You want me to pay more attention to you? You want me to be by your side? Is that what you're trying to say, Monica? Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just think of Monica? Just Monica. Monica. I'd love to spend more time with you, 
and I tried my best to do so, but the game, it won't let me. Please understand. Just Monica. Just Monica. Monica, please, please be reasonable. I tried. Damn it. Why? Why does it have to be this way? Just Monica. Okay. Just Monica. Huh? Wait, what? I'm back at the poem shedding session. Monica. Why do you have to do this? There has got to be a way to get through Monica. I know deep down Monica is not like this. But now, I have to confront Yuri. I have to help her. Here goes. Finally! <laughs> okay, I have to be strong for Yuri. Whatever happens, I must brave through and endure through the end. By Yuri's side, I know deep down the real Yuri is still in there, alone and scared. Yuri, don't be afraid. I'm here with you, all the way. Please have faith in me. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Okay, whatever happens, I must put a smile for Yuri. I have to be nice to her, say kind things to her. That's what she needs the most right now. You loved it? Really? Why, thank you, Yuri. That means a lot to me. Thank you. So sweet, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Mm -hmm. You want to take it home? Yeah, of course. I wrote this for you, Yuri. It makes me happy that you want to keep it. I mean it. I'm not gonna say that to Yuri. No. <laughs> You're too nice to me, so sweet. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. It's... It's okay, Yuri. You don't have to say anything. I know how you feel. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. Yes, yes it does, Yuri. I'm glad that you want to treasure it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. <laughs> that's... That's... That's alright, Yuri. It makes me happy that you feel that way. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> Small for Yuri, so sweet. Small for Yuri. No matter what. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Really? I love reading your poems, Yuri. They have so much imagery in them. Let's see what you have written for today. Hurry, take it. I can't wait any longer. 
Okay, okay, slow down, princess. I'll, I'll read it. Hurry, read it. <laughs> oh my god. This is messed up. Yuri, what is happening to you? It breaks me to see you like this. Yuri, no. <laughs> no, the real Yuri is still in there. She's still in there. All scared and lonely. I have to be there for her. I have to be strong for Yuri. She needs me. Okay. I'll push forward. Do you like it? Oh my god, Yuri. I wrote it. For you. I... I love it. It's a beautiful poem, Yuri. It's a masterpiece. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Ha! We're back to normal. I... Yuri? Are you okay? I think I'm going to vomit. Oh my god. What's this? Yes, no? Must be a secret poem. Today, I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how it feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again. Unless I decide to kill myself. <laughs> I left a memento of the occasion below. That's blood. Is this poem Yuri's? Is that Yuri's blood? That blank word. Is that Sayuri? I don't know. Okay, everyone. I'm back. I'm back in the club. Monica, what did you do? That poster. Is that you doing as well? It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? Monica is being too serious. This isn't how she should act in this scene. Something's not right. Monica, what are you planning? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking... I want to make cupcakes! Yeah, that! Glad we're on the same page! Yuri! You can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it will help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know? Monica, please stop saying things that will provoke Yuri. Please. I... I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So, 
I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea! And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about so sweet? So sweet is going to help me. Wait, what? I'll I'll be helping Monica. Uh okay. Wait, you You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I... I agree with Natsuki. Not only is the work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. Oh man, they're they're fighting. Ladies, ladies, please, let's calm down. Let's not fight about this. All you care about is dragging so sweet around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Sosui decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Sosui make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. So sweet. I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Oh my god, it's, it's becoming a war zone now. Um, Yuri. Please don't say that to Natsuki. It's not very nice. Let's calm down, okay? You shut your mouth! For God's sake! This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Okay, I gotta choose. Huh? What? Eh? Monica's name just keep on following my choice. Is she manipulating this as well? She doesn't want to let me go, does she? Um, if that's the case, I don't have a choice, do I? Yay, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise, it will be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking so sweet for yourself. What a shameful thing to do! Yuri, I didn't even give you any work! You decided it for yourself. I don't know what to say anymore. I can't stop them. I can't. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable?
Oh no, Yuri, she's okay. Yuri, calm down. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. <laughs> Putting Sochi away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? <laughs> Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. <laughs> Yuri. Monica was just joking. I promise you, she was just joking. So, chill, okay? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. <laughs> All I want is to spend a little time with him. <sighs> is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, so sweet. Yuri is really something, isn't she? <laughs> Monica, you did this to her. Don't forget that. You have a hand in this too. Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out of the door. Finally. Oh my god, what's... what's happening? Voices. I hear voices. I gotta be strong. Yuri? Are you okay? I'm here with you. Finally! This is really all I wanted. So sweet, there is no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. Come to your house? That would be lovely, Yuri. The whole day with just the two of us. Just the two of us. So sweet and Yuri. Sounds like a plan. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Yes. Yes, it does. I'll bring something for dinner as well, so we can have a good time together. Okay? <laughs> wow! There is really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore! <laughs> no, Yuri. There is nothing wrong with you. You're... You're still the same kind and gentle Yuri that I know. I've never felt this good my whole life! Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? Yes, it does feel nice, Yuri. It feels amazing. To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. 
Then why? It feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen. Something horrible? No, Yuri. Nothing horrible is going to happen to you. I'm here. I'll protect you. I promise. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, so sweet. <laughs> I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. Really, Yuri? You feel that way about me? Thank you. I'm honored if you feel that way. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Malika is listening. Please, so sweet, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. So sweet, stay strong. Yuri is still in there. She needs you the most right now. Just be there for her. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Yes. Yes, it does sound perfect, <laughs> Yuri. Just you and me, right? <laughs> Tell me, so sweet. Tell me, you want to be my lover? Do you accept my confession? Yuri, I... Yes, I accept your confession. I accept your love for me. I love you, Yuri. I want to be with you forever. <laughs> Yuri! No! No! Yuri! No! Yuri! No, 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 no. Yuri, 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 why? <laughs> no, this can't be happening, this can't be happening. This isn't real, this can't be real. First, Sayuri, and now, Yuri. <laughs> you bastard! You were supposed to have everything under control. Everything was supposed to be under control. <laughs> under control? <laughs> under control. <laughs> under control, my ass, you bastard. Nothing, nothing was under control from the very beginning. You're pathetic. You can't even save anyone. You save no one. God damn it. <laughs> Yuri, I'm so sorry. Please, please forgive me, Yuri. Yuri!